Had so, the hair done. Talk okay, about these. Yeah. Um, how did it feel to win this award? Amazing and a real honour because I was up against brilliant filmmakers who happen to be dear friends and I really respect their work. So, yeah. And most of all, I'm delighted for Ahmed and Mohammed. Absolutely. Who endured kidnap and who managed to escape, and that's why we got this story. Yeah, how I'm so happy for them. How did you go about telling the story? Gosh, we, we got a tip off. We heard that these two Syrian men, Ahmed and Mohammed, were captured um, and had been kidnapped. And we followed the story and it was, you know, really we were on the ground. Um, we started off on the Greek Macedonian border and it was, we just got really lucky because I understand uh, the Afghan language, Dari, and I overheard some smugglers speaking and they were pretending uh, to be refugees and I heard them talk business. So I got in with the smugglers who led me to the smuggling um, uh, network, a rival smuggling network, who were kidnapping refugees and holding refugees, uh, torturing them um, and making them pay extortionate amounts of ransom. How dangerous was this? <laughs> we had some hairy moments. Yeah, there were a few moments of it. Yeah, and you know, Lot Lottie was amazing because it was your first news piece that you'd filmed. Yes, I normally make documentaries, so it was yeah. yeah. And you were really cool and collected. Yeah, we had a mom few moments with Afghan smugglers uh, coming at us with sticks. <laughs> it was, yeah. It we were actually protected by the people we were filming though, weren't we? Yeah, the refugees were amazing. They didn't, you know, they really protected us. Um, it was also, it felt... We were a bit anxious when we when we tracked down the house where the kidnappers were operating. We, we were um, working with very good journalists as well yeah. on the ground there, Albanian, ethnic Albanian journalist Badat, who An was incredible. An amazing ethnic Albanian. Mm. We couldn't have done it without no. the local journalists, actually, without the Albanian journalist Badat, without Mariana Karakuli, Greek uh, local producer, Dayan was the Macedonian, yeah. <laughs> What difference does it make, or will it make, for you to be recognised by the Royal Television Society? You know, just to have uh, the plight of the refugees um, highlighted like this is is huge. You know, we know that it's a desperate journey. Not only is it a desperate journey that they risk drowning, but people forget that they risk rape. There's a lot of rape happening, they risk mugging, they risk kidnap, all these things along the way. So it means a lot. You know, Ahmed and Mohammed, when I told them that we were up for this award, they were ecstatic. They want the world to know what refugees go through. They don't want to do this journey. They don't want to leave their homes. They'd much rather be home. But it's, it's that dangerous that this is, this is their only option. Congratulations telling the story. Now, would you just hold that up for us and uh, look to camera for us, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much. You very much. Thank you. Well